Hi everyone, we have got a few things to go over today. So I have got my January Ellie, which I like to call Miss Ellie. So I've got my February collection that I haven't opened yet to show you. So I'm excited to show you that. We also have the latest box from the Fabulous Planner that I'm using in my wellness journal. So I wanna go over and show you some items that I've gotten there and see if we can track any progress, hopefully going in a forward direction. So anyway, I hope that you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, you guys are awesome. It means so much to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would take a quick second and hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love for you to come back and join us for future videos. Today we are doing wellness Wednesday. I know. So I'm not going to be doing these every Wednesday. I'm probably going to try to squeeze one in at least once a month, kind of show any progress that I'm making. It's probably a good time to put the Miss Ellie in there too, if I happen to get one that month and just show the planner if I'm continuing to get it or not, just to show you any progress that I'm making in my wellness journal. So anyway, first we will start with Miss Ellie. So of course I call it Miss Ellie, but it's really Ellie. And so they just have the one box that they do right now and it's $49.95 and that includes shipping and it's going to be three pieces like leggings, a sports bra and a top. Sometimes that top is going to be like a tank top or a pullover sweater or a little jacket just keeps it kind of fun like that. They're starting to bring back some shorts now. So if you're into wanting um, athletic wear with shorts, it's probably a great time to do it. I don't know why they don't do it all year round because there are people that wear shorts year round. You know, you know what I mean? It's, but anyway, um, I do have a code below. So if you haven't used Miss Ellie before and you wanted to check it out, it's 25% off your first box. I would get $10 to use on future purchases, not so much on a sub sub subscription box, but on like their leftover must-haves or if I wanted to get an additional set or something like that. And part of the benefits too of joining Miss Ellie is that every now and then they have sales. So this week they're having... 30% off what they call must have. So it's like leftover pieces from um, other groups that maybe they don't have the full set anymore, but they might have the leggings from one, but it might go with a top from another one. So you kind of mix and match and get some good deals like that. Alrighty, so let's do the collection first. So the sports bra that I picked up is from Marika. I really don't have anything. I think that'll go with it. Well, I've got black. Black goes with everything. But the top is really, it's got some sparkles on here. It's a pretty like a baby blue color or maybe like a periwinkle blue. It's a nice full side so you get some nice coverage. Maybe you squish some mech fat and it's got that little crisscross if you have an open top. So I just think this will be a fun top to wear this summer. Uh, the jacket, no, not for summer. This is like going to be like wearing a teddy bear. This is also by Marika. And like I said, it is like a fuzzy fuzzy warm teddy bear. It does have a nice little hood here. It's got a nice zipper right here that's going to go all the way up to the top. It's got two pockets in front. Nice long sleeves. Going to be nice and warm whether a nice jacket going into like early spring or maybe late in the fall before it's ready to start digging out the winter clothes or just kind of wearing as a comfortable layering piece around the house. This is going to be like wearing your favorite blanket going to love this and again I am this collection that I got in February nothing really hit me on what they had to offer but they did let you pick and choose three pieces for that same price so that's what I did the leggings I didn't know it but they're Jessica Simpson and they actually would go with the sweater from Miss Ellie that I'm wearing today so this is leggings and but they got the wide leg leggings so they're like regular slacks it's got a nice wide waistband right here little reflective little moon right there for the back both thighs have the pocket on the side so great for putting your cell phone in when you're walking or if you're running to the store and you just want to keep your license and a credit card or something in there 
a nice full length and then the wide leg bottom so yeah i am going to enjoy wearing these they're going to be super super comfortable and again it's going to go with this so yeah win win on that one Alrighty, so that was my Ellie collection for February. So then, um, getting into my planner. So my wellness journal. So to start doing this, I really didn't know what I wanted to do or how I wanted to set it up. And so January, um, I got this uh, little happy planner right here. Uh, with their kind of journal and then I just used some leftover kits that I had that I didn't have like full kits anymore. But I took bits and pieces and I kind of laid it out in advance for the month. I have no idea why my hair is driving me crazy and um yeah so but then it was just too too jumbled and i thought you know it's not going to make sense i'm not going to be able to look and see am i making progress am i not making progress and again i just wanted to start tracking i wanted to start using my under desk elliptical again i hadn't had much luck on on it the past few months before i started and i do like 10 steps and i was huffing and puffing and then i said you know what if that's all i can do is 10 steps I'm going to do 10 steps and, and write it down for the day. And, you know, maybe the week after I could do 11 steps or 15. And I just thought not pushing myself to cause myself any harm, but just kind of keep track and just trying to push myself a little bit harder without overdoing it. So then I decided I wanted to try this fabulous planner. And I had seen someone unbox it and it just looked like fun. It wasn't like a full, full sticker kit, but there was a knife to make not enough in there to to kind of maybe lay out the month and just um, try a different format, see what works, what doesn't work without going crazy with stickers in it to make it overwhelming. So that's what I did last month. So I'll show you how that turned out. And so this is my second month. And I decided um, they have the luxury one and then they had the classic one. I was getting the luxury one, which was $30.99 plus shipping. The classic is $24.99. And after doing it for a month, I decided to skip it and go to the classic one. But I did sign up for three months on the luxury one. So I'll have one more month after this, and then I'll start doing the classic one, which just means that I'm not going to get the extra cover in there or the extra planner pieces uh, for the weekly sheets, but I've already got them in there anyway. Alrighty, so I did pre-open this to try to get some of the cellophane out of there, but it just looked much nicer. I love their box that it comes in. It just looks so pretty. Looks like you're getting a little present. So you're going to get some planner supplies, some extras, just some fun accessories. And you can see that peeking out. Doesn't that look like a little fun piece? So it gives you the card. That tells you the difference between what you would get if you got the classic and what you would get if you got the luxury. And next month's box theme is going to be spring is here. This one is the theme is glam closet. And it really looks like a fun kit to use. Alrighty, so I might as well take this out since you've already kind of seen a peek. This is stinking, stinking adorable. It's like a keychain. And then it's got a little quick disconnect. So if you wanted to put this on your handbag, even if you didn't use it for keys, just for a little shoulder bag candy or dress up your, your purse, or you could always put it on your planner or your planner cover or a little tote bag. But it is so, so cute. So we've got this little scarf here. It's tied in a bow. And then it looks like a little handbag here. And it's got like an epoxy flower and the bow. And it does snap close. It's got like, it looks like it's a little quilted feature. And then they just put that styrofoam in there to keep its shape. But you could maybe take that out if you wanted to carry like a pill box or something like that in there. Or if maybe you wanted to carry emergency safety pins or a little thread kit, anything like that. But it's just really, it's stinking adorable. I think that is so cute. The washi tape is really, really cute. And again, they, you know, they really went nice with the theme of the glam closet. So it looks like it's a little dress with a plaid skirt. And then the washi tape is that plaid. And it's got like the kind of purple and pink and blue here. So it looks really, really cute. That's going to be fun to use. And then I took this out. I have a little carrying case and it's these scissors that fold up so that they go flat so you can carry them without hurting yourself or scraping anything in your purse. So just when you're sitting on the couch or something and you're working in your planner, you don't have to have those big scissors. And again, it just kind of folds like this and folds in so it keeps it 
safe for sticking in your purse or your bag or anything like that. We got this really cute pen. It's a really cute purple pen here. And then the top of the pen has that crystal heart. So that looks like a really cute pen to have. We got a few stickers to put in here. And again, the keeping with their closet theme of different items that would be in a closet, whether it's shoes, accessories, or clothes. So we got three sheets of stickers right there to use. We've got these post-it notes. If you wanted to use something in flag, or I mean, you can use these anywhere. It doesn't have to be in your planner good for like a bookmark or something like that as well. Then we've got these puff stickers. I got the paper behind it so you can see, but things that would be in your closet. Whoa, wait a minute. This person has champagne in the closet. I want their closet. So just some fun stickers to use in your planner or your journal. And I probably won't take these out, but they have got a ton of these stickers in here as well. So just really fun to dress things up. The sticker kit that they included this month. And so we'll kind of just kind of go over these pages quick. So we've got the weekend banner. We've got some text here. Some little boxes. And, you know, I like those little things right here off to the side just to kind of keep, if you're keeping notes, if you write steps, minutes, smiles, things like that. It just gives you a place to kind of keep it in line. This page has some washi tape on it and some words and then another sticker and just some boxes that you could use in your planner or journal. This one just has some stickers on it. Life is always better with a closet full of tulle frills and glitter. So just some nice stickers and then the last page of stickers for that kit to use in my journal, my wellness journal. And this is what makes this the luxury one is that it comes with pages that you can put in the, in your journal. I told them that I had the happy planner, so it's set for the happy planner. But if you had a different type of planner, you just tell them which one you have so they can either have this, uh, the perforations to use. But this is what makes it, uh, you know, a little bit fun too. So it's got this laminated card right here if you wanted to change out the cover on your planner every month. It gives you what they call like a dashboard or just to put in there too just to make it fun to separate the different months. And then this month they changed the format from last year so instead of it being vertical and each day going down they've got each day of the week going horizontal and then a habit trap trap tracker. So if you wanted to track whether you took your meds, whether you exercised, did you do the treadmill, did you eat lunch or your water, whatever. So it's got one of those in between every day. So it's got that for the full month. So you got uh, four weeks of that. So that was everything that was in the planner, the planner kit this month. So again, we're going to have one more month with that and then after that I'm just going to just be getting the extras for $24.99. It's not really a big savings but if I'm not going to use those pages then it doesn't make sense to use them. So just again we got the stickers. We got those this little group of stickers which is quite a bit in there. We got the washi tape that I already put in. We got the puff stickers right here so those should be fun to use. The post-it notes. We got these three pages of stickers here. We got the cute little pen here with the little heart crystal on top. We've got the traveling little scissors. And then this, that is stinking adorable, this little pocketbook keychain or something. So that is really, really cute. So glad I got it this month. And again, just the card. Alrighty, so now let's get into the wellness journal and just see what kind of progress I've made or what I, I have figured out isn't quite working for me, what I want to change it up to. So again, I'm using the Happy Planner and I bought one of their kind of wellness journals, how they had it, but I didn't know if that was the format that I really wanted to use. So it's just called Bloom Into You and how their pages looked that I wasn't quite sure was that you had, and it's the vertical one, and it's got it set up each day, and then it's got like the graph 
down at the bottom. And so for the first month, for January, I just used different kits that I had already, uh, leftover kits that I didn't use the whole thing. And so I just put, put them in kind of randomly, and I did like the month in advance. And then as the days went on, I just kind of put all my information in here. Um, so January was the first time that I started using um, the Underdesk Elliptical. I mean, I think my first week, I had 121 steps for the whole week. Yeah. That's how bad it was. I didn't start using the Fitbit yet. I didn't take that out to till February, so I don't have that tracked in here. February is when I switched and I used um, the kit that I got from the Fabulous Planner. And so basically it was kind of the same format. I didn't have that big space at the bottom, but I knew I didn't want to be covered with um, stickers. I wanted the stickers kind of like in one section so I could write everything that I wanted to write down. And so I did that for the month. I just used that one sticker kit. And every day I just put in my information. And by the end of the month, I said, you, you know, I like it not being so busy with the stickers. I like that I have a place to track everything that I wanted to track in February. I also added my Fitbit steps. I added my reading time. And in March, I'm, I'm adding YouTube time just to kind of see where that goes. I've got my work hours in here as well, so I can kind of keep track of that, which isn't really good. But anyway, but I decided what I didn't like about this is that I didn't have anything off to the side really to do a weekly total. If I was into really exercising and doing how I want to be someday, the day is kind of mixed Saturday and Sunday on the weekend. So you really don't have that full day each to write everything down. So for March, I decided to go back to just using, um, and, and I'd got some leftover sticky kits from the Fabulous Planner last month too. So I've been using those in March, not that I've gotten too far because we're only halfway through. But I changed the format a little bit and just used some washi tape that I had already. I added the sticker collection that they had just at the bottom and then um, more washi tape just to kind of keep it interesting and just put everything across. And so I'm liking that much better. And then off to the side here, I've got my work hours, my steps, um, the minutes that I use the elliptical, the calories on the elliptical, the miles that I did on the elliptical for the week, and my Fitbit steps. So it's really easy to see at a glance what my weekly thing is. Um, doing it in February with their pages, you know, it's kind of squished down here at the bottom. And if I wanted to do something on Sunday, I didn't have room to put it. And then by the end of March, I'll put like totals for the end of the month on as well. So I'll have that. So anyway, I like that format much better. I think that's easy to see what's going on. Everything's in the same place, the same going down every day. So I'm, I'm liking that much better. It's a little bit more organized. It's easy to see and track your progress. So you probably want to say, did I make any progress? Well, you know, I think I have. So I just have the totals that I have from January and February. So um, January, of course, I didn't use the Fitbit yet, but for my steps on the elliptical, um, it was 14,811 steps for the month. I used to be able to do that in a day. So, but it's a start. You got to start somewhere and just keep moving forward. And if it goes down, then it goes down. If it stays the same, but at least I know that I'm trying to do it. Um, so for that, that was 198 minutes and that was a total of 5.8 miles for the month. Not great, but it's a place to start. February, on my elliptical, I was able to increase my steps and what I was able to do, I did 40,705 steps for the month of February. So that's a really nice jump. I was proud of that. It was for 471 minutes and I did 16.15 miles on my desk elliptical while I'm sitting at my desk chair. The Fitbit steps, because I did add in my Fitbit for February, and that was 47,354. So I've got a way to go, but I'm happy making small steps, some small progress. Um, you know, like I said, I don't want to go overboard. I don't want to push myself. I don't want to put any strain or anything on my heart, anything like that. But I know I've got to do something sitting, sitting 
in a chair for 14 hours a day, it's not helping. And it's not good for anybody to sit there and just continually work and stare at a computer and whatever all day. So it's baby steps, but I'm happy with the progress that I'm making and looking forward to tracking more of it next month. Next month, I've got my reading time in here as well and um, things like that. So I'm happy to add that. And, you know, um, everything I add, whether a few, few months from now, maybe I'll add some homework or something like that in there. So we will make just small changes, not pushing anything, not putting myself in any danger levels, just safe and easy. So anyway, I know this is going to be a long video again. How is that possible? So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. I hope you are trying to hit your fitness goals, your wellness journey. It's not all about weight. As I found out, losing weight isn't the answer to getting well. Losing too much weight puts more strain on your heart than where you were if you didn't do anything. But baby steps, take it easy, everyone. Thanks again for stopping in. Um, I'd love to hear your comments and how you're doing with your fitness journey as well. And we will all chat again soon. Love you guys so much. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have fun. Love you guys so much. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.